Good morning and welcome back. It's been a it's been a wee while again. There's just not really been anything going on. We've had a spell of really rotten weather. It's been absolutely bitterly cold, like sort of minus seven, freezing ground, just not really particularly nice. And then last week we warmed up, which was great. Much came back, not so great. But we've had really, really bad winds, really a couple of really bad storms with winds of up to like 70 miles an hour. Now, unfortunately, this couple of weeks of pretty poor weather has meant that I actually have a bit of a poorly pony on my hands now. So I had the vet out yesterday um, and she confirmed that, yeah, he's caught a little chill. He's not got a temperature, no lymph nodes up or anything like that. He just has a, bit, a little bit of cough and a little bit of unpleasantness coming out of his nose. So he is on for the next four days, three days now, he is on one sachet of Butte, which he's gonna get in the evening because he got it in the evening yesterday. And then he is also on Ventipulman. Now he needs two scoops twice a day of this. Um, I believe this is quite spenny, but I haven't obviously had my belly yet because they just came yesterday. So uh, yeah, but he is eating it well. He's not. He's quite happy having having that in his feed. And we will also give him his normal supplements. <laughs> So as well as the uh, Butte and the Ventipulman, he is also having to have all his feeds off the ground. Now he always gets his bucket feed off the ground anyway, and his hay in the field always comes off the ground as well. However, in the stable, he's normally got it in nets. So last night I just tipped the nets onto the floor and it actually looks like he's done not too badly. He's still got a little bit here left so i'm quite happy about that i was a bit concerned he would like wolf the whole lot so quickly he's pulled a wee bit into his bed just about down here but it's not too bad it is not too bad so i am going to let him have his breakfast then i'm going to take his temperature give him a quick brush and rug him up nice and cozy in his warm rug because he does need to stay nice and cozy don't you how are you feeling under there you feel okay under there we've got another windy day today uh, winds of up to like about 50 mile an hour, I think. So I just need to make sure that he is staying nice and snug as a bug in a rug and warm, but fresh air is the best for him. Help clear those airways and get all that mucus moving and out of his system. Now, I am sure that those of you watching this will know fine well how to take a horse's temperature, but I just thought I'd add it in anyway. He is very good at having it done. I do normally use Vaseline, but I haven't got any, so you'll have to excuse me, but I'm gonna have to use a little bit of spit, but uh, that's actually what the bed did anyway. I don't think you really want to see me spitting on camera. Right, so, switch it on, tail up, there we go, gently pop it in, and listen for the beep. You kind of hold it, it's meant to hold it at a bit of an angle, just in case there's poo in there so it doesn't go straight into the poo. 37.4. It's about average for him. I think it's between like 37 and 38 is normal. I need to double check that, but yeah, that's about normal for him. Because he is not feeling particularly well, I'm going to be quartering him rather than taking his rug off and giving him a brush because I just think it's not very fair because he'll get cold. Thank you. 
So that's him out in the field and I just have to do all my mucking out. I need to do a big muck out because this has been deep littered over the week. So I need to take all the wet out and give him a nice clean fresh bed. Do his hay, I've got to soak his hay. I've got a friend bringing him in this evening for me because I am away out today with my mum and my sister. And just so I don't have to rush with them. We're going out for lunch, but so I don't have to rush thinking, oh, I've got to get back up, got to get him, got to get him in. I've got a friend going to do that for me. So I'm actually going to say to her, if she wants to bring him in early, she can, because it's pretty miserable out there. As you may have seen, um, I didn't bother talking when I was pointing out the fencing that was down because you wouldn't have been able to hear me anyway. So I'm now going to fill his hay nets up and soak them and then muck out do all the usual chores so I don't think you really need to see that because you've seen that before you've seen me make his feet up realistically that is about it for just now this is what life is at this time of year um it is simply doing the chores and snatching a bit of time with him as and when I can but yeah the lights the lights are getting nicer <laughs> The nights are getting lighter. It will not be long before all of this seems like a distant dream. Anyway, thank you for watching this very uh, short and sweet little vlog. And I will see you when I see you. I don't know when that might be. It might be next week. It might be the week after. We'll just have to wait and see. A wee surprise for you. Have a super duper week. Bye.